WGN Evening News at 5. Village Rosemont Mall shooter making his first court appearance today in Rolling Meadows. Shooting last Friday left one person dead and a teenager injured. WGN's Brona Tumulty joining us from Bond Court with the very latest. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, no bail today for 18-year-old Jose Matias of Chicago. He was taken into custody on Wednesday after a nationwide arrest warrant was issued for him. Now, he's facing uh, charges of first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, aggravated discharge of a firearm, and aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. It was last Friday. Gunshots rang out inside the fashion outlets of Chicago, sending shoppers running for the exits while others hunkered down in the mall, unsure of what was happening. Now, the shooting left 20-year-old Joel Valdez of Skokie dead and a 15 year old girl was injured as well. Court documents today say the victim, Valdez, had a gun on him and flashed gang signs at someone Matthias was with, which led to a confrontation in a hallway by the bathrooms near the mall's food court. Those documents allege Matthias fired six shots, striking Valdez five times, and Valdez later passed away at the hospital from those injuries. It's understood everything was also captured on surveillance video. The 15-year-old was with her mother in that hallway on her way to the bathroom when the gunfire started. She ran for safety and later realized she'd been shot in the wrist and suffered a graze wound to her leg. Now, if convicted, Matthias could spend the rest of his life behind bars. Again, no bail for him today, and he's due back in court on the 15th. We're live in Rolling Meadows, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.